and the Nelson Knight made, I, I like Brett Masters' chances against Mike Fox a whole lot better now. Absolutely. I don't know if uh, Franco is going to absolutely call it down the middle. Well, I don't know either, but uh, quite frankly, I think that's part of the idea behind that. Because Franco and Fox, they have gone round and round in so many different organizations, so many different federations in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, throughout the state of Texas, in fact. And Mike Fox, he wants that title back. He's not going to get his shot tonight. But he will have Franco in the ring with him, and if I were Mike Fox, I would do what Franco says. It's going to be interesting, Rob, to say the least. In the ring, though, look at this guy. Yeah, this guy's a character, no question about that. Second generation superstar. Son of Frank Dalton of the Dirty Dalton Brothers tag team that was so singing. To, is he lip syncing to Leonard Skinner? Well, can't say that I blame him. I mean, I lip sync to Skinner once in a while myself, but in any case, Andy Dalton is ready for action. certainly not be an easy match for Andy Dalton, not in the least. And reason number one is about to come through that curtain in the form of the laughing freak, the man from New Orleans, Wally Darkman. Dalton certainly got his hands his, his hands full with both Wally Darkman and the mind of wrestling, J.C. Lamada. Indeed, this will be an outstanding contest. Super, super Junior Showcase originally scheduled between Lamada and Darkman. But we saw Andy Dalton come out earlier, case in hand, he had just entered the building, and he said he wanted a match, and Knight said, okay, you got a match, you're going to the Super Junior Showcase, make it a triple threat, and Andy Dalton, if you lose, you're fired. Yeah. This is going to be a barn burner, Rob, what do you call it, a barn burner, slobber knocker, you got a, you got a word for that? Well, I'd prefer, not, I'd prefer not to call it a slobber knocker, I don't want to invite too many comparisons, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Contestant number three, and if there is anyone who studies more film, more videotape than J.T. Lamada, I would certainly like to meet him because that guy probably has no life. And he's called the mind of wrestling for a reason, Rob. Indeed, he's, and he's had time ever since Andy Dalton's arrival to formulate an offensive plan and a defensive plan against Dalton as well as the man he came here prepared to face. The, the laughing freak himself, Wally Darkman. What a lot of people don't know, Rob, is me and, me and Lamar are actually road buddies. We're on the road almost every weekend. And if I have a... I'm, I'm going to call it down the middle, Rob, but I, I like I like JT Lamar to win this match. Well, he certainly has as much of a chance as any other participant in this contest, so we shall see. Certainly the referee has got his hands full because a triple threat match, you're going to have three men involved and also, you're going to have some temporary teaming because it could very well end up two on one at times. Yeah, I, I, call me crazy, but I don't, I don't think Wally or Lamada are, are friendly with Andy Dalton. Is anybody friendly with Andy Dalton? Uh, I don't think anybody is, uh, especially these fans who have a habit of calling him Hannah Montana because of his flowing blonde hair. It does look like Hannah Montana. Well, I, I don't know. I think Miley Cyrus would take issue with that. Who's that? Never mind. Okay. All right, triple threat contest on the way here. And, of course, our main event later on, Brett Masters is going into the ring one leg or two against the main event, Mike Fox. And Dalton nailing Darkman from behind. And now LaMotta going behind, went for a German suplex. But right now it's Andy Dalton in the driver's seat. Hard job to LaMotta's chest. Now an Irish whip. Lamada holds onto the rope. Here comes Darkman. Rocks on and now a hard chop. And now it looks like it's going to be Lamada and Darkman taking turns all over Andy Dalton here. Chopping him and slapping him front and back. Let's get the war out already. Oh my goodness, what a chop. I think that shook up the metacarpals of Lamada Darkman. It made an atomic drop. Spinning neckbreaker by Lamada and they're doing a number on Dalton here. Double stop at the end here. Sliding B by JT Lamada. Oh man, you know, you know that is one of the drawbacks of having to be at ringside calling the play-by-play announcing on a match like this is 
with these three guys involved, I, I feel like I want to just sit back and watch it all, but I have to stop it. I have to remember that. Absolutely. We're going to have a lot of action here, Rob. We're going to be working overtime oh. like the referee should have been doing earlier. Yeah, no question about yeah. that. Lamada putting Darkman down with a shoulder tackle, and now Lamada coming off the run, stepping over Darkman. Darkman missing with an elbow. And now coming to the Wilson. Oh, a right to the knee. And a neck breaker. flying neck breaker there by Darkman. One, two, and oh, Lamada barely kicking out of that one. We saw Lamada kick out Andy Dalton with the sliding knee. That's a move popularized by Masato oh. Tanaka in Japan. Indeed, and now it's still Lamada and Darkman in the ring. Dalton hopefully is regaining his bearings out on the floor. Oh, jump over and Darkman coming up the ropes now. Oh, what a backbreaker there. Tell the world backbreaker by Lamada. One, two, and once again, only a two count. That would have put any normal man down. I am Tell the world backbreaker by JT Lamada. A lot of quickness being exhibited and also some presence of mind by Andy Dalton as he pulls the mud out of the ring. And the two are going to go over the floor on look out. Oh, oh, with the same time, landing on his feet and taking out both of his opponents. Oh, high impact move by Wally Dartman in this crowd and Holland Hills Community Center really going. And indeed taking the moment to high five his fans here at ringside and now Tyson Dalton back in the ring. But now it's the lap of three and I hope so. And only a two count there. And Dalton, or rather, Darkman back his feet against Dalton, and he's going to take him over to the turnbuckle head first. And now Darkman with a twist and wrist lock and an Irish whip, a reversal by Dalton, but Darkman up in the air, tremendous agility being shown here. And look at that, reminiscent of Vice Man King Parsons, the butt butt, and Darkman's on top one. With a kick out, I don't see how he was able to do that. Ball is really bringing it to Dalton. Certainly is, while JT Lamada regroups outside, but he can't take too much time out there. Now, as this match could end while he's still on the floor, he better be careful. Oh, far across the back. And the freak continues to work on Dalton. JT looking at him, he's got his, his brain scrambled out here. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Something of a T-ball suplex there by Dalton, the forearm to Lamada, knocking him to the floor, a two, and only two. Almost a victory there for Dalton. Remember, Chris, if Dalton loses, Matt said that he's fired. He's fired, that's right. I'm sure none of these fans have been broken up about that, though. So basically, Andy Dalton is fighting for his IHWE career, and certainly wants to be a part of IHWE, as does every other wrestler who comes through the doors. And everybody wants a part of the championship thing. Here comes Lamada. I said he world heavyweight champion Franco D'Angelo will be the special referee later tonight for the contest between Mike Fox and Brent Masters. Lamada up by Dalton. Big turning Dalton inside out. And Lamada seems to be fired up now. Hard right hand on Dalton and a big uppercut. Big European uppercut by Lamada. Dalton sent into the ropes, ducks under the right hand. What a combination. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Dalton trying to get his bearings, and hopefully for him, he can get over there before Dalton, or rather, Dalton submits to Zimmer and James Oba. Look at this big backdrop on Dalton. But that enabled Darkman to get out of that hole. Oh, it was on top of things. And now Darkman coming up the ropes, cross body, but oh, look at that. He swung Darkman around. On, oh, dropping Darkman on top, but Darkman's going to go for the cover now. What are you doing? I don't think Lamada took that into consideration for the oh, mind of wrestling. Yeah. That's a tremendous yeah. lapse. This guy's, come on. Right hands, and now, oh, oh my goodness, the senton on to Dalton. Like he, looked like he was trying I'll to drop it to Wally, but ended up senton. Two, only two, and oh. Darkman with a boot. Gets Lamada out of that situation. Oh. Now, Darkman throws in a right hand. Lamada with a right hand. Oh. Stop acting here, yeah. Rob. Lamada says, come on, and Lamada firing away. Clubbering? Oh! Well, it looked like Clubbering. Well, perhaps he was. Anything is possible in this Super Junior Showcase triple threat match. Originally, Dalton versus Lamada. Dalton versus Lamada. There I go again, getting confused here. 
But now, or rather, dark hey, behind the door. I don't see it. So that's why I want to sit back and just watch this because it's so easy to lose track of what's going on. Oh, hard chops being delivered. Oh, oh my goodness. And now forearms. Spinning back elbow by JT Lamont. And Dalton is reeling on the ropes. He may be seeing stars by now. Big hard knife head shot by Lamata, and now setting him into the corner. Lamata going in to follow through, but these guys oh. might be juniors. This might be the super junior page showcase, Rob, but these guys are throwing some heavyweight shots in here. And fast as lightning, no question about that. Dalton's hung up on that second rope in the corner. Dalton here in a bad way in the corner. Two knees in the gut by Lamata. Lamata delivering the knees, and here comes Darkman back into the ring, but Lamata nailed him, and that, that may be all she will run. And, oh, only a two count in Dalton with still enough to kick out. Now it's Lamata. The only one on right. chest, Rob. And that, it's a beat red on the beating that he received. And Dalton That's just goes, a straight right hand right to the jaw. That's Nothing it. fancy about that, Rob. It's Nothing at all. Right. Dalton doing some old school fighting right there. Went for an Irish rib, but Lamata blocked it. Got him in a fireman's carry now. Oh, it drops him across the knees. Oh, and Darkman just about took Dalton's head off. All three men down now, Rob. My goodness, this is the kind of action you can expect from a triple threat match, particularly in the junior heavyweight division of IHWE. They call them super juniors for a reason. I knew it was going to be a barn burner. Rob. That's a rocket buster. Have you heard of that one? It's a rocket buster. I don't think I've heard that one, but I'll scribble that down and put it in my dictionary for future use. All three men to their feet now, Rob. Oh, Dalton's in some trouble now. Well, look at this. He, he wants to make up with Lamada and Darkman. Is he crazy? Well, well, got that in stereo. And now, once again, it's Lamada and Darkman going at it. Lamada. Irish whip into the corner, going out. Oh, big elbow. What a hard, hard forearm shot that was. And now, look at that. Some very quick strikes by Lamata. This is with a kick. And Darkman. Uh oh, we're going to see the moon swing. Oh, and Darkman hits the moon swing, and that has got to be it. Dalton, oh my, running right into him. Big B. I. Well, for, for, out. for a moment there, it looked like Don was a little confused which way to go, but he got a firm grasp on where to go and what to do. And, uh-oh. There's a chair out for Michael. A little bit in the front row. Wait a minute. Danny Matthews. That's Danny Matthews. What's he doing here? Danny Matthews yanking the chair out of Andy Dalton's hands. And, oh, wait a minute. He's, he just now talking from behind. And now Matthews, what's he doing? Oh, great. Upside down and inside out. What the heck is Danny now, Matthews doing here? Dalton with a power. One, two, and three. You've got to be kidding me, Rob. Dalton has been Dalton. 